with us, we have Edmund Phelps, of course, the world famous economist with us this morning. I want to start by asking you about this issue of Russia as uh, one of the BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China. Should it even be in the club? Uh, it so underperformed its its peers going through the, the hard economic times we've had. A lot of people are saying it should be thrown out. What do you think? Uh, well, it's clear that Russia is very different. Russia is a natural resource country. It owes the, uh, the, the low income that it has very largely to the uh, oil deposits and so forth. So it, it doesn't have the uh, vibrancy uh, and the good economic organization that Brazil has or China has. So uh, from that point of view, it, it, it really doesn't belong in the uh, BRICS. They, sh they should call them the BICs. Or maybe throw in Poland, and but then it would be unpronounceable. <laughs> One thing it does have is, is uh, political stability. I know you have yeah. some strong feelings about the relationship between the Kremlin and, and business here. Tell me about that. Well, you know, there's been not two systems in the world, but three systems. Uh, capitalism, socialism, and the third is corporatism. Corporatism means a cozy relationship between the state on the one hand and industries on the other hand, and labor unions if there are any. And, and uh, Russia is like that. Uh, there, there's, you know, I don't think very much happens in the industry, not, nothing of a great importance at any rate, unless it's, it has the backing in some way or other of the government. So uh, it's very centralized, even though you have a lot of private ownership. Let's talk about the Western markets. Uh, give me the outlook for the next 10 years. Well, I, I'm, uh, I don't want to sound like this uh, lugubrious uh, historian Arnold Spengler of a century ago, but I, I, I'm beginning to get a feeling of a decline of the West. I'm beginning to think that uh, the innovativeness of the U.S. economy, which was driving the world for years and years, uh, is uh, dwindling down. Over the past uh, decade, there's been a decline of initial public offerings. There's been a decline in the rate of new startups. And uh, there's been uh, other uh, evidence, uh, all sorts of evidence, that, uh, that oh, for example, the venture capital industry is still shrinking in uh, Silicon Valley. It's been shrinking for a whole decade now. So there's lots of evidence of a decline of dynamism in the U.S. economy, and that, that bodes uh, ill for uh, the whole Western world. Of course, China and India and Brazil will go on catching up. We're not necessarily Russia. We only got 30 seconds. Quick question. President Obama yesterday uh, said he's going to give the regional banks $30 billion to kickstart uh, lending to businesses. Good or bad thing? Uh, second best. It would have been better to give the $30 billion for banks dedicated to financing investment projects of an innovative character. All right, thank you very much. That was okay. Edmund Phelps joining us there, obviously the world famous economist. Uh, we were, as you well understand, discussing the global picture, but also the investment picture here in Russia and the Russian economy.